Saturday. I got to tell you, my daughter and I walked in, I've told a few of you this, but she walked in. Ellie, there's Ellie in the back. Wave your hand, Ellie, so everyone knows where you're at. She's in Ellie just turned eight yesterday. And so, Ellie, um, some of you know we actually lived in New York for about four years, and she was actually born here in New York. And so, when you live in Utah and you were born in New York, you're pretty proud of that. So she tells everybody she knows she was born in New York. But we moved to Utah when she was two, so she doesn't remember a lot of New York. So she kept telling me that she wants to go back, and I thought, well, since I was going to be here for her birthday, that would be a good way of doing that. So we spent some time yesterday going to see some sites, and this afternoon after we're done here, we're going to go show her where she was born and a bunch of other things. But the reason why I mention that is I want to thank you guys. Um, Family's a big deal to me. Talk a little bit about that today. One of the things that I loved about this Super Saturday was that feeling that you had in the room here. There's a lot of feeling of camaraderie and a family of support. And you can do a lot of things in your life when you've got that kind of support. Um, it is something that if you're not careful, you take it for granted. Uh, but if you're smart, you won't. Uh, because it is something that's special. And it is something that's, that's unique. So, does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to try to make this diamond training. My goal with this was to talk to the heart and mind, if I can, today with you. And that's kind of hard to do when you've got to talk numbers. Um, but we're going to talk through some of that, and then I want to kind of leave a, a thought with you and share a story with you. Is that all right, you guys? First thing we're going to talk about is this concept. Well, actually, everything we're going to talk about today is this concept called owning your success. When you sit where I sit, and I've been doing this thing for about, this type of thing for a little over a decade. You love to see the strong personalities that lead a team because it's awesome, okay? Um, it is, so when you've got Saudis and you've got Mickeys, right? When you've got these, these, these leaders that you see come up in front of the room, it is an amazing thing, it's a valuable thing to have because what it does is it will push you to think bigger than maybe you thought for yourself. But it's, there's, there's a part of it that I want to, to address with some of you real quick when we talk about owning our success to this topic. It is hard sometimes to understand the journey that those leaders have got to to be at that point. And sometimes when you're sitting in those chairs, you look at them and you think, how can I ever get to be where they are? And I will tell you that sometime in their life, they sat where you sat and probably said the same exact thing. The difference is just a lot of work, okay? When I was younger, my dad used to teach me that all the time. He used to say, the great equalizer in life came is work. People might be smarter than you, they might be more talented than you, blah, 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 but if you work harder than them, everything levels out, okay? And so, what I want you to, to do, what I want to take away from these type of meetings when you get to see this kind of stuff is to think, I can do that. I can be that person. I can be a lead. I can be premier. I can do those those things. I don't spend a lot of time, and Saudi and Mickey will tell you this because we chat once a week. I don't talk through, I don't spend a lot of time talking the mechanics of the business. Our, the mechanics guys of our business are really simple. We talk to people. We help people. And however best you talk and help to people, that's what you should do. All right. Now, is there ways, skills we can improve on? Absolutely. Is there skills to do that? Absolutely. But this is the form for that training. 90, uh, maybe 85. 85% of what you do is centered in one thing, and that's belief. Okay? It's belief. And so when I talk to groups like this, I like to focus on some of those pieces because my, my belief and my experience has been if I can flip a switch on in you in that area, then the rest of the stuff takes care of itself. Because the skills and everything, that's just work. And if you believe in yourself, and if you believe in what you're doing, you'll put in the work, you'll figure out a way to make it happen, okay? But the belief part is the part that I need you guys, that I want to talk to you about today. And one of the ways that we show our belief is how we approach our business. Do we, do we own our business? Do we own our success, all right? That's why I've titled this what I have. <clears throat> This idea, um, if you haven't taken a, a minute to really think about what success looks like for you, where you want to be, where you want to go, 
you're going to have a real hard time getting there. If you come to these meetings and just get really excited about hearing these other success stories and being in this fun environment, that's going to be great. But you're never going to be able to achieve success if you're living someone else's dream. Do you know what I mean by that? You've got to know that that dream, guys, will point you. It's like a compass, right? It, it, it centers you. It's your north star to where you want to be headed. When you have that, your why, all these other things we talk about come into alignment with them. And I'm a big believer in alignment. The more that we can align our activities, what we do behind where we're trying to go, the more effective that we get in, in it. The point is that you have to be the one who owns it. And we're going to talk about that today and what that looks like, all right? Um, this is a quote that if I were a new diamond, I would memorize it. Okay, if I were a new coach, okay? I would talk about this concept, I would promote this concept with a new coach. If you, you will do nothing in your life if you wait until you can do it so well that no one will fall involved with what you've done. In other words, if you're afraid to get started because you're afraid you're gonna make a mistake, you're never gonna do anything, ever, okay? It's okay. Let me, let me repeat that, sir. You will do nothing if you can't win. Does that make sense, everybody? Okay. Now, having said that, a few weeks ago, we put out the Elite Goal Guide. Now, I know a lot of our coaches saw that and was like, I'm not an Elite Coach. They instantly disqualified themselves from even filling out that guide. Right? I want to tell you guys something. We're gonna look at that goal guide today. I'm gonna to tell you why. Last, earlier this week, day will take, because I freaking called her at 11.15 at night, we had the opportunity to call all of our lead coaches. That's so cool. And almost to a coach, if it was their first year hitting a lead, they said this. You know, when I started this, I did not believe I could be an elite coach. But someone challenged me to try it. And so I put myself to it. And I can't believe I'm here now. Okay? Almost to a coach they said that. So what's the difference? Belief. Somewhere in that year they said, you know what, maybe I can be. Maybe I'm gonna go for it. I mean, what else is the risk that you, well, I guess I could just not go for it. In, in a decision, in belief, guys, there is risk. And that risk takes courage. But I'm here to tell you that it, it's worth it. Now, having said all that, I wanna break down, we're gonna take just a minute here, and we're gonna break down the elite goal that. I'm going to walk you through it because I hope a couple of you have some aha moments when you go, huh, that's all it takes to believe? Huh, I can do that. Huh, I'm a lot closer than I think I am. All right? And that's what the purpose of this goal guide for. And what I'm going to ask you guys, all of you diamonds in here, if you have not submitted that goal guide back to your coach, back to myself or Alex Bunton or Paul or Cheryl, someone on your corporate team that you're working with, please do that. I don't care where you are right now in your business. I don't care where your coaches are at. This exercise will elevate belief and focus. So let's do this real fast, all right, you guys? We're gonna, and this is going to be real quick, because I know you guys don't want to look through this all day long. Okay. So there are two pages on the Elite Goal Guide. Can I get one, too, so I can hold it up where people are looking at it? Which one do you have? Which one did they just hand out to all of you so I can make sure that we're... Okay, that's fine. Mickey, are we just giving out the blank sheet? Okay, no, that's yeah. really fine. No, no, I just want to know what they're looking at. So what you're going to do is if you want, you can get... Um, uh, no, no, yeah, I just want to see what they're looking at so I know what I'm looking at. Okay, perfect. So are, they, are you guys all getting two sheets or just one? Two sheets, okay. So on this little document, there are two sheets. The first sheet just shows you how to fill out the back sheet. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. So already... You just need to know that your workload will just cut in half because you're only filling out one of these sheets, okay? The first sheet is the, just to show you how to do it, all right? So let's talk through this real quick. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. All right, are we ready? Does everyone have one? No? Okay. If you don't have a gold guide, raise your hand so I'll know when people, when they're done handing them out. We've got a couple over here. I think they ask it. Is that what 
I can have mine back now that my two have fall. Let's get in this. Okay. We need one more over here. One more guide over here. If we have one, if not, we can just share it. You can download these. They're all over the place on the interwebs. All right. So there's two sheets. One that's filled out and one that's blank. The first sheet will have this box.